my philosophy is what more can you discover about doing that thing that you're doing, whatever it is? And in what ways might you be getting in your own way? The very first was um, like when I was a really, really little kid, maybe six uh, ballet classes in a gym basement, which was really like rolling on the floor and tumbling. Um, and then when I was in middle school, my mom signed me up for a class at Mary Grove College. And that was sort of my first taste of the dance world that I am in now. So I, when I was looking at colleges, I looked at Denison University in Ohio, and they have, still have, and had a small, wonderful program. So I went, and then that's where I became really sort of a serious dancer and started spending all my time at the dance department. We got a ton of individual attention. And that was really good for me at the time because I was so new to dance. I really didn't have a lot of formal training. Right after college, I went to graduate school. I went to Ohio State University. That I moved to Chicago. And I started my company almost right away. And really what that meant to me was being in the studio, being in rehearsal with dancers. My original company, my first company, was three dancers and two musicians, and the musicians also danced. So that was a huge learning time because I didn't really know how to teach non-dancers, but I was committed to it. The older I get, the more, the more impassioned I am about um, bodies. And the more, the, the, more, um, the more it affects me when I see young people. But it's not just young dancers, it's, it's dancers of all ages. And I have to count myself among that population, because it's not like I'm living on Mars. Um, but the, like, the fear of literally flesh and body, any flesh that's not smooth and hard and, you know, really congealed. <laughs> um, to, you know, in, toward the body. I just am really an advocate of, of bodies and specifically of like flesh. And my body has changed so many times in so many different ways from, you know, getting really thin to putting on weight to getting very fit at a variety of weights to, to having a lot of fitness but also a lot of flesh on my bones. And, you know, I, I think at this point I have to just acknowledge that bodies are a process. They are an in-process event. Advice. I guess some advice would be that time in the studio alone, in really investigating your body and how it moves. You know, it could start with stuff that you've learned, but going beyond what you've learned, assuming that all movement is, is on the table, all movement is an option. That would be my advice. My fantasy would be that, you know, a, a dance, a young dancer, an emerging dancer could have, you know, all the classes that they want with people so they get the experience of dancing with people and learning and learning in that way that like builds both the physical part but also the neurological part. But then the other part of the fantasy would be that that everyone also has time in the studio alone without there being like an end product, but just literally time to research moving. Assume that all of the ways that you move are, are good and even the weirder or the, the, the least familiar might be the source of something really amazing. That's, I think that would be my advice.